Hi everyone! My name is Jonica Pisante and my partner Jasmine Carbarta. And today, we will discuss about biography counselors. But before that, let me explain what biography is. Biography tells about our anecdotes, memories, trips, and daily cherished moments. It's our most precious legacy in this world and also mainly to our family. There are two types of sources. First is sketches or essay that containings of biographical information. Second is indexes which refer to the user to other biographical materials. The first question is, what information can you find in this reference material? Biographical sources provide essential information about important people in all professions from around the world and throughout history. This includes their birth, death dates, pronunciation of name, nationality, and primary accomplishment. The second question. What are the examples of this material? These are the some examples of this material. First is American National Biography Online. Second is Oxford Dictionary of National Biography. And third is Biography and Genealogy Master Index. And last is World Biographical Information System. And these are the some trivia that might interest you. Did you know that, that the first known biographies were written into a records are in Azria, ancient Babylonia, ancient Egypt, and ancient Mesopotamia? And for the last two basic questions about biography source, my partner Jasmine Garbarda will take it. Bye-bye! So how do you use biographical sources? These are the guides on how to use biographical sources in its various types. For encyclopedia, it is for very famous people. You can find it in the general encyclopedia. An encyclopedia article usually contains a brief summary of someone's life and major accomplishments. For biographical indexes, you can use Biography and Genealogy Master Index or Biography Index. These are the key resources for finding biographical information. This could identify articles and books. For the books for individual biographies. Individual biographies, including a whole book written about one person, are the most comprehensive biographical sources available. To find individual biographies, use the online catalog. You can do the following searches. Next is for books for collective biographies. Collective biographies contains biographies of more than one person with several pages devoted to each individual. These are found by using a library catalog, subject search, using either subject field or the professional title of the person and add biography. Example, subject, musician's biography. Subject, chemist biography. For biographical directories, Directories are comprehensive for a specific field and list not only those who are famous people but also those who are less prominent. To identify biographical directories, do a subject search in the library catalog, for example, the country of the biography, biography, dictionaries. For periodical articles, periodical articles are found by using an index. Look in an index that covers the profession of the person you are interested in. Sometimes, information can be found by ethnic or racial group as well, but checking by profession is strongly recommended. For newspapers, a local newspaper may be a way to find a profile on someone who is considered a person of note in his or her community. However, 
Finding these articles can be very difficult because a newspapers are not indexed or are only indexed for a few years. So you can look for individuals by name in online newspaper indexes. It can be worth checking for people in the news today. For web sources, when using web search engine, be sure to capitalize the first and the last name of anyone for whom you seek information. Make sure the Boolean logic and add biography or some affiliation that might help narrow your search. But be careful when taking information from the web. There are parody pages for fa some famous people and information from these sources may not be accurate. You can use the web pages like biography.com, political graveyard, a database of historic cemeteries, and who's who from the web. You should also evaluate the biographical sources available. You will notice that not all of them provide up-to-date and reliable facts. The following criteria will help you assessing the biographical reference. First, first is the authority. Second is the scope and purpose. Third is the selection policy. Fourth is the method of compilation. Fifth is the treatment. Sixth is the frequency of publication. Seventh is the arrangement. Eighth is the format. And nine are the special features. So when do you consult biographical sources? Biographical sources are consulted when pursuing information about the people who are well known, their birth and death dates, the description of their lives and accomplishments, their nationality, and their subject of interest. Remember when I told you no matter where I go, I'll never leave your side, you will never be alone. Remember when 